A courageous cycler to ride a 15 pound bike into the path of a moving vehicle weighing thousands of pounds. Would you believe this scenario is happening so often in Sarasota that officers are sending out a stern warning to these two wheelers, literally creating their own death trap? Jed Holloway is in our Tampa News Center with some words of wisdom from an experienced cyclist and from law enforcement. Jen? All right, first things first, Jen. Officers are not suggesting that people stop pedaling. They're merely telling these daredevils their actions are not only dangerous, but illegal as well. Take a look through the lens of the Sarasota Sheriff's Office street camera at University and 41. A very bold cyclist zooms in between two lanes of stopped cars and without hitting the brakes, barrels through the red light. When the Village Bike Store sales manager, Tony McEachran, saw this video, he was left in disbelief. I could not believe, A, that person didn't get hurt, and again, one bad egg makes a bad dozen. He says cyclists like these give others a very bad rap. Sarasota officer Jason Frank reminds us this type of riding is illegal. Not only is it dangerous because it's a $264 fine, but it's dangerous because it jeopardizes your safety as a bicyclist and the safety of the vehicles uh, around you. And now watch this second clip where not one but two cyclists make their own lane of travel while swerving and darting through cars and trucks. It almost makes you wince, wondering how they avoided death. McEachran does not support this riding style. I will not ride with anybody who's not prepared and safe out there because if they don't care about their life, they don't care about mine. Officer Frank says through a DOT grant, his traffic safety team has been studying and educating pedestrians, drivers, and of course cyclists for the last four and a half months. He says when the study is over in the coming weeks, they will compile the information and then report back to the Department of Transportation. Jen? The video is hard to believe. Jen, thank you so much.